Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be part 10 in my uh, Semi-Deity uh, Russia uh, series on the Play Europe Again map from Yet Not Another Maps pack. Um, and this one, uh, last time around we uh, joined an emergency against Trajan. I'm currently working a unit around so I can get a unit into his territory. And if I can do that... Uh, then I pick up, uh, I can get at least a point in the uh, em emergency score. And then if these guys ever figure out how to, um, how to take the correct city, then, uh, then I'll be able to get the benefits. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go back to my territory here. Uh, right, so I'm... Uh, a unit needs orders. Does it now? What? Well, why does it need orders? Ah, okay. This next turn, it'll get into into Roman territory. If I can get it in there soon enough, and it looks promising, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, Athens here. Athene. Athenae. What, whatever. Is the one that needs to be captured. And uh, it looks very much like nobody has enough units in the right place to capture it. So uh, that's uh, going to be a... Uh, um, uh, going to mean that... Uh, yeah, uh, there, there's going to be some uh, challenges there. Uh, but hopefully, uh, these guys all get their act together and uh, get up to it. Uh, really, it just needs to be put under siege, I think. And that's going to require some boats. Um, right, no, that's a demand. Apparently, if you accept demands, it actually gives you a lower uh, view in the AI's eyes than if you pay them. So, yeah, basically, you look like a pushover. Um, so, who's doing what over here? I just need to get uh, one error score uh, or one one point. Uh, in the emergency. And if I can get one point in the emergency, if they succeed, we'll be laughing. Um, right. Whose turn is it? Oh, Harold. I think it is. You know, we'll see what uh, what goes on here. Okay, so where is my guy? Where is my guy? Oh, he's over here. Okay, you go over here. Now, you can do this. Right, I should uh, pay attention to my uh, borders here. He's building cavalry. Yeah. I kind of want to get up in here and put some cities up there. So the AI actually uh, uh, did explore up here, which is uh, kind of good. I noticed 
uh, nobody who uh, I have uh, who I had an alliance with to share visibility has explored the desert down here. So this is like the Sahara Desert and uh, Arabian deserts, I think. Okay, what do we have? Who's turn? Oh, right. I want to see how they're doing over here. Are they even attacking Athens? No, they're not. Yeah, this um, emergency is going to fail. But... Uh, it looks like, it also looks like uh, Pericles might be on the rocks here. Although he's got Sparta. I think that's where Sparta is anyway. Uh, no, if, if he, he can take uh, this uh, city by uh, loyalty, he'll be okay. Because that should, would, should then stabilize here. Uh, right. Okay, en enough uh, tourism here. Uh, we have a builder. Uh, and we're going to have an another builder. And we're going to have another builder. And we're going to uh, build the... We have completed the aqueduct, so that fixed our housing issue here. Uh, we are now going to uh, complete the industrial zone. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so I need to uh, start fixing things there, and I need to I need to go down there, and you can upgrade, and I have a point now. I have a point. So let's see if I can get over this way uh, I'll come down maybe this way and see what I can see uh, yeah yeah I don't think the emergency is going to be successful but I've got a point now so uh, I don't have to worry about that if they succeed uh, okay. Right. So, uh, what? I suppose I should uh, start uh, working on no I can't do that obviously uh, I should start working on uh, on getting my uh, military units uh, upgraded, particularly the uh, the ranged ones. Because uh, I, I really need uh, a lot more range strength than I have. Uh, that's pretty much clear. Uh, so, by uh, building a few things with the faith, like I'm getting 93 faith per turn, 
so doing the doing the uh, using that to buy military units is about the only way I'm going to catch up, right? Uh, you know, so if I can uh, get a bunch of field cannons online, uh, it might deter uh, attacks. Uh, why is uh, Scythia moving units? That's uh, an interesting question, I think. Hungary has hussars. No, we are not going to accept demands. So we've got just about the smallest territory in number of cities of anybody here. Uh, so at some point, I'm going to need to uh, start uh, uh, building settlers again. But I really need to get what I've got consolidated properly first, which means improving everything around Moscow, uh, building up uh, military, everything like that, just so I have a shot of, uh, of a defense. Uh, looks like um, something expired. Oh, 50 gold per turn, though. It's not too bad. They did... Uh, No, Lisbon's still there. Okay, the Ottomans picked up a city. Ah, uh, I kind of... Uh, want to get my religion back there. Uh, right. Ah, I have a builder. And I'm going to get a builder. You can repair. Because that's certainly not going to harm anything, repairing things. Uh, right. You can turn into an army. You can go this way. And I'm going to need a lot more faith before I buy another one of those. Okay, so I'm going to duck over there. Uh, you can fortify. Right. Uh, I get another builder next turn, and then I need to build a spy or two, I think. Really, I do need to build a spy. Those have to be hard built, so uh, I guess... Uh... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I was going to lose that guy. Uh... It was uh, inevitable. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you know, you don't want to lose your units, but he served his purpose, and uh, I guess that's uh, that's enough for now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, he had no chance against an AT crew. Uh, another turn or so, and I'll have urban defenses. And uh, believe me, that'll be immensely uh, helpful. Uh, 
I think even urban defenses have got a bit of a buff in recent patches. It used to be you could wipe out uh, the entire fortification stack with like one or maybe two hits from a uh, decent uh, artillery unit. And it was just way too easy to conquer cities, actually. Uh, right. I said I was going to build spies. Uh, I am actually going to build spies. Really? Guys in the way? Okay, well, I'll build a farm on there then. And over here, that's a theater square. So I'm going to build that up. Uh... So I got a workshop there. I'm gonna build a factory. And uh, you can go over there and do that. Uh, you can go over there and park. You can go over there. You can do this. Uh, you can be a mine. Uh, right. Now I will be accumulating coal. Uh, right. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, so I get urban defenses this time around. Oh, wait. You can be a farm. Now we can move on. Oh, I should improve, I, I should repair that uh, furs. That would be smart. Maybe I can trade them then. Okay, that feels like uh, an imminent attack from uh, Cynthia. And if it is, the game's over. There's no way I could survive that. Unless she's going after Genghis. Which I suppose is possible. But if, uh, if I get attacked again by Scythia... I am pretty much toast. It'll mean that I don't have any shot of uh, recovering. Uh, and then I'll just be playing it out until I finally uh, fail. Uh, and quite frankly, that isn't uh, particularly fun. Is what'll happen if uh, Scythia attacks I'll end up uh, with uh, getting decimated. I'm going to lose like, at least two cities immediately uh, before I can even mount a defense. Uh, and then uh, I'll, it'll wipe out most of my military with whatever defense I do mount. And then, uh, based on that, I can guarantee that Genghis or Poland, uh, Jadwiga, would uh, inv invade and at that point there's pretty much no hope and that gives us a normal age next time around I think I thought we were only one away no we we're two away that gets us much closer though uh, so anyway we've got steel now what? Railroad. Uh, okay, let's look at the tech tree. What do we need? 
Uh, economics would be good. Replaceable parts would be really good. Combustion gets us tanks. Uh, yeah, we'll go up for replaceable parts. And then, uh, okay, what do we do here? We can go over there. Ah, this bugger is still in the way. This is why I don't generally give open borders. Because there's always some character in the way. Uh, right, so we did that. Uh, we'll go over here. Uh, we'll go over here. We should get a military engineer up, actually. Uh, right. Or are these just going over here for def... That's got to be massing for an invasion. But of whom? Uh, a couple more turns, I can get another field cannon online. Uh, and uh, turn this into an army. Right, okay, he moved. So, oh, maybe maybe they're going from over there to the front line, and they're not going to make it in time. A catapult? What's he doing, doing tooling around with a catapult? I suppose that's one thing about having my uh, military units decimated in a war. Uh, I don't have a lot of obsolete ones laying around. Uh, obsolete as far as my tech level. I, that's why I'm uh, working a bit harder on the science right now so that I can get my tech level up to where it needs to be. Because quite frankly, my neighbors can all trounce me in 30 seconds if they want to. I suspect the best way to have played this, given that religion wasn't a major um, uh, factor in the game, where if I didn't have a religion, it wouldn't matter uh, all that much, would have been to uh, start out with a couple of early settlers and then a major military push and attack Genghis. I think that might have been the uh, uh, the smarter play at the start of the game. Uh, so we have an encampment there. I'm going to build the barracks. Uh, okay. So, okay, right. I want to improve the horses there. Good. Uh, right. Next. Uh, okay, so Moskva should be just about back to where it was before that bloody war. Uh, uh you know, as far as improved tiles go. So I had the war, and then I had the tornadoes come through and erase all of the improvements over there. And what's going on here? Um, 
Okay, that's fun. The uh, display I have is not... Uh, the window isn't updating, but it is on the uh, OBS. Uh, so I'm, I, I can see what's going on, but it's not on the uh, game window. Uh, yeah, I'll do friends with, uh, with Pericles. Um, I don't know what's up here. I need to get control of the game back before I can do anything, though, so I gotta get through all this stuff. Yeah, the game window's frozen. On the display. But it's fine in the window capture. Okay, I just minimized it and uh, re-displayed uh, it. Let's see. That seems to have uh, fixed it. So that was weird. Uh, yeah, Genghis is going to attack. Um, so he's got, what's his military strength? 729. Mine's 522, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I tell you, the AI sure likes to spam rock bands. Okay. I have a spy. I can build another spy. But what I should do is build units. Um... But what units? Obviously, I need to build Cossacks, you know, just because. Uh, now, that was a builder there. Uh, and another builder. Because I have so much land that needs to be uh, improved that I really can't uh, can't avoid building them. Okay. I have I'll go over there and where will I put this? I kind of need it somewhat centralized for all of my main districts, which are over here. Um, I guess I'll put it on the aqueduct. You can get one of those. What are we doing with you? We're going... We're going up here, is what we're doing. Uh, right. So. I Do I have enough yet for a field cannon? No. Next turn, I'll have enough for a field cannon. So I'll buy the field cannon, finish up that army over there. 
Uh, and then I think I'll build a boatload of uh, Cossacks. Oh, I should bring the uh, great writer that I'm going to end up using up down to here. Yeah, I really should. Uh, where is the theater square? Oh, it's here. Okay. Who's exerting influence on it? Probably Poland. Gotta be Poland. Right. No. So that glitch I had earlier where the game window wasn't updating, but it was on OBS, uh, that is not a bug in uh, Civilization VI. Uh, that has to be a bug in, uh, in X or the display drivers or, or the window manager on, uh, on my system. Uh, so that obviously, because uh, there's no way the... Um, uh, the uh, OBS would have been seeing the correct stuff in the window if uh, the game was failing. So uh, it definitely wasn't failing. Uh, right. Uh, so I guess I'm going to build a bunch of farms. Okay, I'm going to improve that. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, improve the stone. Uh, I don't know. I wonder if a quarry is worth it, or if I should just harvest. Well, I don't need the the spot for anything, so I can just put the quarry on it. Okay, you can be a farm. Might be worth harvesting this and making a farm there. Maybe. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of tiles there that are uh, already uh, productive. So making a farm uh, uh, parallelogram thing over here uh, might actually be, be a good idea. Yeah, because all of these are in range of uh, the uh, Nizhny Novgorod. I was going to move this guy. Oops. I was also going to build a, uh, a field cannon. Oops. Uh, so natural history in a couple of turns. Right. Uh, a boatload of turns left to build a entertainment complex here. What's going on down here actually? Yeah, nobody's attacking Athens. Uh, and who's exerting pressure here? That's going to be the Ottomans, I think. Probably. Could be the Romans.
Ah, the Ottomans are planning to take this. Looks like uh, Pericles is going to be out soon. Oops. Yeah, it looks like Pericles is going to be out soon. Or maybe not. Oh. See, that's why you want the dams on those rivers. Okay, so, uh, Pericles. Yeah, see, I was right. This is stabilized now. And, and that's the Ottomans. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I built an industrial zone there. And... I want a builder, and then I think I'll build a settler. Uh, right, so I'll uh, move that guy over there, this guy over here. Um, you can go there. And... So this gives me plus two production on the tile. That gives me 139 uh, production. I'll put the quarry on there. Uh, right, I, I was going to put a farm there. And right, I need to... Field cannon. Uh, right. Next. I think I might just uh, uh, get Moskva creating uh, Cossacks for the next while. I mean, getting uh, enough... Uh, no. Getting enough uh, Cossacks out will uh, get my uh, military uh, strength up, and uh, that will definitely be helpful. Uh, looks like uh, the deals have all expired. Well, no. Uh, no, my uh, costs have gone up. That's what's happened. I need to get my... Uh, a gold income up. That's what I need to do. I kind of wish I would have been able to get that one uh, uh, pantheon that the uh, uh, mods that I have running uh, had in there, which is plus two gold per, for every forest tile. Uh, that would have been insane, and I wouldn't be having the issues I've been having with gold. Uh, I'd probably have uh, 200 gold in, per turn income, and uh, it would have been so much less problematic. Um, I think the only way to pull that off would be to use the production exploit right from the start, where you can, where you can uh, with a bunch of extra fiddling, you can save up your production from turn to turn, and then dump it all into something. So you were to do that right from the start while you're researching uh, uh, the uh, astrology. Uh, so you can put down your uh, holy site. Uh, it would uh, uh, it would make uh, 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 then you could. You know, build the holy site instantly, and then you'd get a jump on it. Uh, right. Uh, although with stone nearby, uh, you might actually be able to uh, 
succeed at getting Stonehenge. And if you put Stonehenge up, that could be uh, uh, useful. Now here, what to build? Uh, aqueduct, maybe? Well, first of all, how much is a is a military engineer? 680 gold, so no. Uh, uh, well, a granary, I think. Okay, so you. Then, uh, what to do up here? Okay, you can go over here. Okay, what to do with you? You can go over here. You can clear. Uh, right. I think we put the uh, aqueduct here. And you can do this, and so much, yeah, okay, one turn on that. Next. So I get natural history this time around, another turn after that I get astronomy. You know, at some point I might retry this on uh, Emperor or uh, King difficulty. Uh, you know, down from Deity and see how much uh, more practical it is. Or I might actually just run it on Prince difficulty and see how well you can do on a perfectly even uh, playing field with the AI. Uh, Yeah, that might be an interesting experiment, because the AI is still going to have a substantial advantage in this particular uh, scenario, uh, just because I, they tend to, they have defensible terrain, uh, or the, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the starting points, uh, or, or their, their, their uh, civilization and leader bonuses are, uh, uh, quite strong for their location. See, Russia doesn't do so do as well uh, necessarily in the uh, in plains and grassland. Uh, although the plains and grassland of this map is much more accurate, I think, uh, to the uh, actual terrain in uh, in the world. Um, Certainly what I think of as Tundra and uh, what uh, world maps in, uh, in uh, civilization count as Tundra uh, don't agree. Uh, like the uh, world maps put uh, the vast majority of southern Canada as Tundra, uh, which it isn't. Uh, it's actually proper plains and grassland. Uh, Right. You know, I should pop up the factory. Okay, we have a whole bunch of those that are in the way. Right. Now, uh, I got this guy. I can send up here and do this. Uh, and what we completed a barracks here 
uh, we'll do a campus uh, which I will put here and we will do an art museum and we will bring this guy over here and use one of him uh okay that's partly why my gold went down we lost 20 envoys yeah okay uh okay you can get that uh you can go back in there and do your thing uh right and uh how is uh this coming slowly uh right Next. Of course, there's a military unit in the way. Okay, you can be a farm. Next. Okay, so I'm going to have to build some theater squares as well so I can do something with these, but... Okay, there's 14 turns left on the emergency. Okay, Arabia and Persia are having a fight by the look of it. A cultural alliance with Pericles. You know, I'll definitely take an alliance. Probably would have been better to have a cultural alliance with Poland, but... No. Yeah, I know I'm weak. I'm working on it. Okay, so we have astronomy coming up. Yeah, we'll be friends with Scotland. That was Scotland, yes? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, actually, if we can get some uh, friendships online, uh, that will uh, that will help. You know what? Uh, doing the friend thing with some of these guys is probably not a bad idea. It at least suggests that they're not going to attack. Okay, begin voting. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll we'll go for Trajan there. Uh, light cavalry, I think. Well, there's no point declining that. Okay, so we'll see how this uh, plays out. Oh, look, we have a mitigated flood. Uh, right. That passed. Uh, 
other selected Trajan. Okay. Uh, that's astronomy. Uh, athlete training and stadiums. Right. I'm not going to win that, so, yeah. Uh, theater Square or Commercial Hub? Theater Square or Commercial Hub? Commercial Hub. Uh... Yeah, I'll put it here. You can go over there. You can make a work. Okay. You can go over here. You can go here. You guys can clear out. Next. What was I building there? Yeah, we'll be friends with Victoria. Factory, right. Okay, might be worth building a uh, a power plant in Moscow as well. Might be, anyway. Because really, I need to get as much stuff built up as I can. No. How's this looking? Uh, CO2 levels. Uh, who's the worst? Uh, France. Interesting. Uh, eh. Okay. I mean, I'm not doing anything with the niter anyway, so uh, I might as well take 17 gold for it. Like, really? Uh, why not? Special session. Saladin has betrayed Cyrus. I don't think I can uh, play in that uh, emergency, so... There we go. We won't do anything with it. Okay, come on. Finish. What's it doing? Okay. Uh... Okay. Right. Um, market. Farm. Harvest. Uh, and 
and we have a thing here. We will build a military engineer, and then I think we'll start building uh, armies. See, with a military engineer, I can use that to repair things, uh, so it's nice having one around. And then once I have the military engineer, I'll go I'll go around and uh, start building military units there, uh, just because uh, more military units is probably going to help me more in the long run than anything else. Uh, maybe another turn after this here, and uh, I'll be able to end the part, you know, just because I'll be running out of time. Uh, um, I'll have a better idea on how the thing is going. Uh, I might do another couple of parts. I'm not sure. Uh, it depends. If a war gets declared, then uh, I'm pretty much, I mean, like, on me. Uh, by one of my neighbors, I'm pretty much done. Uh, I, because ser seriously, uh, there's no way at the current level of uh, of uh, military I've got. Well, I might be able to defend against Genghis uh, with his 811 to my 536, but there's no way I could defend against Tamiris. It'd be impossible. And uh, as a result, if that happens, I'm done. Uh, it it may it may happen still. But uh, I think for the moment, uh, I'm not gonna face an invasion from her. Uh, probably not until the military emergency is done. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'll see one after it's done. That's almost certain. Okay. Uh, so, based on that theory... Uh... I should actually be building units. Um, yeah, I think a farm there. Uh, oh, I can put a camp there. Uh, what to do here? Well, I'm going to go over there and put a farm, and that gets me a farm triangle. You... Uh, build a farm. Okay. Next. Yeah, I'm thinking I might try this again, but on Prince difficulty, just to see just how different it is. Uh, I know on Prince difficulty, I'll be able to rush a religion and uh, not face an early game uh, invasion. Uh, but even on Prince, that I think this would be fairly difficult to play through. Uh, just because there really aren't any natural defenses. Uh, even here, you know, the only defenses here are international borders. 
uh, and that's not helpful. So uh, I think um, even on prints, this would be a tall order to uh, to come out on top uh, after uh, any length of gameplay. Now, uh, this is turn 321, uh, which is actually uh, somewhat uh, uh, somewhat respectable, I suppose. Uh, yeah, considering I'm not a uh, brilliant uh, player, or uh, a, I don't generally play at this type of difficulty level, uh, so uh, you know, not like uh, you know the YouTubers out there like Potato McWhiskey or Saxy Gamer, uh, who uh, who do deity level games all the time. Uh, I'm not a player like them, so I don't uh, I don't have the uh, detailed experience in uh, building up uh, in the adverse conditions. Mostly because I don't enjoy that level of basically impossible challenge, and that there is why you build military academies. So you can build uh, armies directly. Um, yeah, I'll send that there. Uh, now what? I suppose I'll go over there. I'll build that. And military engineer. has two builds. Well, I'm going to send him over here. Uh, okay, I'll go over here, put a farm. Okay, so that should give uh, Nizhny Novgorod a huge uh, food surplus and also lots of housing. And uh, it might be helping uh, Kazimov too. Uh, anyway, that's where I'm going to end the part here, and uh, I, I'll probably do one more part, and if I don't get uh, a declaration of war from Tamaris, I'll possibly do one more after, uh, but I think the game's going to get particularly boring and turn into a tedious slog. Uh, real soon now, uh, beyond what it already is. Uh, if, however, I can manage to get out a sizable military force and get uh, substantially caught up uh, in the uh, on the science front, then I may continue the game longer. So it's going to depend on how the next part or two goes, how long this will go. Uh, but for now, this is the end of the part, and uh, if another part has appeared on YouTube, then you'll know that I continued the game. But anyway, uh, that's all for now, and uh, come back next time if there is one.